Hey guys, we have these new Orbital Space HDRIs and I want to show you guys how to get them into Unreal Engine easily. It's actually surprisingly difficult to find good information on this. So I'm just going to pick my favorite one. I like this one here, uh, HDRI Orbital number 68. Just make sure that you download the HDRI version, not the EXR. And since this is going to be a real-time rendering engine, I recommend we go with the 4K version and not the 16K. Don't worry, it'll look awesome. Okay, over in the Epic Games Launcher, just go ahead and open up your engine. And I'm going to go ahead and do a games preset and I'm going to do the blank level. Uh, make sure that you include starter content. We need that for this tutorial. I'll name mine HDR demo. And once the Unreal project is finished being assembled, go ahead and import the HDRI that we downloaded. Perfect. I'm also going to create a new blank level just so we can start completely from scratch with the lighting. Now really quick, you might be wondering, why don't we just use the built-in HDRI backdrop that comes with Unreal Engine? And that's because it's not really a sphere, it's a dome, so it has a floor, and that doesn't really make sense for space. It'll look wrong. So I want to show you guys how to make a spherical HDRI with no floor. I also recommend that you bring in some sort of an object just to make sure that the light is working properly. I've got this giant spaceship in here, which you can actually find up on RenderCrate if you have an account. It seemed appropriate. This is actually really easy, just right click in your content folder and I'm going to go to add a blueprint class. I'm going to click on search all classes right here and I'm going to type in light studio. So this is something you won't get unless you created your project with starter content. I'm going to click select and I'll call this uh, light studio and I'm going to drag this into the scene and you can see we already get some sort of light which looks pretty cool, it looks like sunset. I'm just going to set my location for it back to the center of the grid. Now this is actually already pretty cool because you can just rotate this and get different times of day. And if that's all you need, you're good to go, but I wanted to show you guys how to actually plug in an HDR. So if you click on the Light Studio actor that you just created here in the outliner, over here in the settings we can turn on Use HDRI, and you can see there's a default HDRI already plugged in. So let's just drag the one we got from RenderCrate into this slot right here. And now we've got the planet below the ship. Now we have a problem, we still see the sunset, which doesn't seem to make sense. So over here in the settings, I'm gonna go turn off use sunlight. I'm also gonna turn off use atmosphere. Okay, and it's actually pretty dark. You may notice if I look up at the bottom of the spaceship, it'll get brighter. And that's because we have sort of a dynamic exposure. The, the camera's auto ex changing exposure to whatever's needed. So if you don't want auto exposure, you wanna manually set your exposure, here's how you do that. I'm gonna go up, click on this little cube to add an object to the scene and I'm going to search for post process volume. Okay. And we want this to affect the entire scene and not just whatever's inside of this little cube. So over here in the settings I'm going to search for infinite extent and turn that on. So now it'll affect our entire scene. If I clear out my search I can go down to the exposure settings and where it says metering mode I'm going to check that to be able to change it and it says auto exposure histogram. So that's what's causing it to auto change the exposure. I'm gonna switch this to manual. And then here where it says exposure compensation, I'll turn that on and we can set the slider to whatever we want. So now we have a consistent, constant exposure. Now I, I turned it up kind of bright there. It kind of looks like a star. So let's turn that down. That's a pretty dark scene and a pretty dark object that's not very reflective and sunlight in space is very direct so you are going to have to expect in a scene like this that you're going to get a lot of dark shadows um, you may want to fiddle with your exposure to compensate but i actually think this looks kind of cool it's very uh very star wars and you can see that was super easy so if you make any cool space shots with these new hdrs uh, be sure to tag us on instagram with it or share it on our discord and if you have any cool lighting and rendering tips that you know about in unreal engine be sure to leave a comment below all right, later creators.